Hello! I modified one of my jean jackets recently and shared it on my Facebook page and was asked if I make another to show the process. I decided to make a couple more to have available for sale and so today I am sharing how it's done. With this jacket, I knew I wanted to cover some of the panels with fabric. I used trace paper as an overlay and then I traced the panel shape with a pencil. I then am able to use this as a pattern to cut the fabric out to the correct shape. I'll be sewing these panels on this time, though with my first I did for myself, I painted liquid fabric adhesive on the back. I found the iron-on adhesive doesn't do great with denim. I knew I wanted a tiger design, so I found a reference shape I liked, printed it to size, and then cut it out. I used chalk pastel to trace the outline since once you're done it rubs right off. Using fabric paints, I put a layer of white as a base first. You want to keep your layers really thin and flat. If you don't have fabric paint, there's also fabric medium you can use that you can mix with regular acrylic craft paints. And another tip is, if your acrylics are gloss based, they leave kind of a thick, rubbery, more solid coating when they dry on the fabric. And as long as you heat treat them with a dryer or iron, then the paint will be permanent. Once the white was dry all the way, I built up my other colors, layering one at a time. Again. Flat, even, thin coats is the key with this. I hand sewed my fabric panels to the jacket using a basic blanket stitch. I wanted visible apparent stitches as part of the design for this. If you run a little bit of fabric glue along the edges of your pieces first and let that dry, it prevents fraying. Once all my fabric pieces were on, I assessed where I wanted to paint some more to add balance and completeness to the design. I'm using black, lime, and orange fabric paint to make a pattern reflecting a similar design to the second accent fabric I chose. I'm mixing the paint with a little bit of water to get variation. I'm going to add paint to the side panels and then do the same on the pockets. I'm also running some color up the seams.
On the seams, I'm pushing really lightly, just brushing over with the very tip of my brush so it catches in the wrinkles naturally for texture. And it's done! This is a junior's medium and it is available so contact me if you're interested. Having one of a kind clothing is fantastic. Even adding small quick embellishments to something plainer that you already have at home can make a cool statement. Thanks for watching! Be sure to subscribe to see more.